Hello, welcome back to Let's Play on Alan Wake. I thought he died there, since he screamed. Okay, was, what the, was that it? Okay, good. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something glorious and terrible. What religious am I? Proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's going to suffer bad. You touch her all. God damn it, Alan. Aggression is not going to get you anywhere. After him, I'm gonna go get the secret here. Some magical power, but I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Ooh, treasure chest. Treasure chest. Man, I should not have wasted all those flares. I thought the chapter was gonna end after that, but apparently it didn't. Although there's a lot of equipment here, since that guy is so sloppy and he dropped drop them. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I never really understood what she meant until now. Whoa. Well, that didn't sound good. It sounded like that the log had some tummy pains or something. But logs can't have tummy pain, so <laughs> they don't even have tummies. Oh, I saw you there. Well, we got here. Well, that's not good. Yeah, first time when I was playing through this, I thought I thought there were ammo or a manuscript page since, since it was shining like that. But no, those are actually bear traps, and you better not step on them. Holy shit. Look at all of these bear traps. Man. There sure is a lot of those damn mongrels hunting for wildlife in here even though they're not allowed to. God damn those guys. Seriously. How many of those bear traps have they got? Sarah didn't care about the legal threats Wake's agent had made. She let Wake go without argument. Because there was something about him she couldn't quite put her finger on. Something that reminded her of her father. She didn't think Wake would hurt his wife. Then she thought about the way he waded into Hartman. That hair trigger rage flaring up without warning. Huh. He just hit him because he looked like a smug bastard. Damn snub. Shit, there's three of them. I only thought there was two, two of them. Flare time, boy! Ouch. Oh 
of heuristic and last guy's out. And boom. And boom, they're taking our gone. Where the heck is the safe haven? Whoa. Whoa! What the hell? Whoa! Not cool, not cool. I hate those guys who hit you twice because it's almost like an instant kill. Maybe I should have popped a pop day flare at that point. Ha! Uh, you ain't gonna get me. It takes like half of your health. Ow. Okay, I don't know if she but we gotta keep moving. Flashlight on you. Oh, sucks to be you then. I wonder if there's anything in here. Nope, but of course there isn't. Shit, and there's more of them coming. God damn it. Damn it, I lost the road again. There it is. Ah. Holy shit, holy. Whoa. Whoa. Flare. Woo! Oh man, that was close. God damn it. Well, there goes my last flare, though. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, hunting rifle. And more ammo, thank you very much. And we'll just cut it up, cut it up right here, and we'll see you in the next part.